Hey! Today we have a really cool package to open, and since you've read the description of this video, you already know we are gonna look at some art books. So these books came all the way from the United Kingdom, so I opened the box just to make sure that they were totally fine and everything was in its place, but I left the fun part for last, which is for us, and I actually haven't opened the books yet. Oh, there's so much art and paper. A couple of these books I found at like used bookstores and they were very well loved. So I never picked them up and I've been wanting to get brand new versions of these. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's all this like shiny stuff. So cool. So I'm working on my own novel, like illustrated novel and producing it. And there's so many little details that some of these books have that it's super, super fascinating and super beautiful. Let us get to it. So let's start off with this book. This is uh, Sketching from Imagination. I really appreciate these inner sleeve like flaps on a soft cover book because it gives it a little bit more, uh, makes it feel a little bit more sturdy. <laughs> I'm already excited. Look at this contents list. There's some really incredible artists in here. Ah, oh, first. I'm such a fan of Wiley Beckert. So she has a section in here, here at the very beginning actually. Uh, it talks a little bit about how she keeps a sketchbook, inspiration, techniques, those sorts of things. And you get some nice samples here of what she does, which I find very nice and appealing. I enjoy large books like this that have a lot of artists in them because I think it's a great way for you to discover new artists. Uh, a lot of artists that I've never looked at their work or at least not seen a lot of it in, the, in this form. A lot of really cool kind of world building sketches in here as well as characters it looks like. Ooh, this is cool. Half educational, half um, just inspiration, I would classify it as. And oh my gosh, there's even some colors in here too. There's a large portion of artists in here that I'm not familiar with, but I'm already very much enjoying their work. So it's really cool. Also, I appreciate that they put the artist's name here at the top, just so when you're flipping through, you have an idea of who's who that you're looking at. Ooh, this is cool. It's totally my aesthetic. So this book is uh, 318 pages of art. And I do believe there's a couple more books in this art sketching from the imagination series. So this book in particular is the fantasy book, but I think there are others that are beasts or other type themes. But if you're looking for an art book, Especially if you're interested in sketching and fantasy, I highly recommend this one because it has just a, a wonderful selection inside and will give you lots, lots of inspiration. So this next book that I picked out is because I've been working on a lot of inspired, my own design sort of characters and I really would, wanted to see what a book about designing characters had inside, especially stylized characters. Since a lot of my art is considered stylized, this is what I'm looking forward to. I love little hidden, hidden gems inside books like that. Little unfolding flap. So this book I would categorize as a educational type book from, from what I could tell online. 
It has things categorized into types of figures, gesture, pose, faces, expressions, color, just the stylization process. And then it also has some projects in here from kind of a selection of artists, it looks like. I'm already getting a lot of information about just gestural design choices and stylizing figures just from the pictures, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of really good information in the text here, which is broken down really nicely. Moving on after this first section to just basic character projects. This section looks like it kind of just describes breaking down how to create a character based on a couple of prompts here at the very beginning. So what the idea is and then branching off of that in sort of like a word, a word map. This is so cool. You get to see like the little iterations of what they were thinking when, why they made that decision. <laughs> Their expressions, posing for that character, some bones, internal like basic shapes that they designed, which is really neat. That, that's a lot of information. So this one is the teacher and it's more information about what they were thinking, clothing, age, work, job, some gestural shapes to get started. Oh, these are so much fun. This is, this is really cool. Something that I would definitely recommend picking up and I am very glad I picked this one. I'm looking forward to reading through it as well. Last but not least, we have our largest book. <laughs> this uh, Mythical Beast book is one I've seen, uh, I think I saw it at a used bookstore and really wanted to pick it up, but because it was such a nice book, I wanted to get a brand new version of it. And now I have one. The, the texturing on the front cover was kind of what drew me in. And of course, the, the mythical fantasy aspects as well. I really enjoy the tone paper they used in here. Just holding it open, it feels very, very fitting for, for what they chose it for. Aw, the forward is by Ja Cooper. I have other books by her, as you probably already know, since I've done another review on her book. So the beginning here has a contents page that has lists all the, the different artists that are in here and this looks very exciting. They're listed by type of creature or beast and then underneath it it lists the, the creator of that, so the, the different artists there. Each section has a little bit about what it is and then breaks it down into notes on I guess what was inspiring the new creature looks like. That's interesting, some of the artists included like materials that they were kind of uh, studying for their different creatures. This looks a little bit like a fox dragon, not quite. A little bit too uh, ferocious, fierce, but the tail reminded me of them. Like this right here. <laughs> If you enjoy beasts um, or world building elements, fantasy, I think this book you would enjoy a lot. It has definitely world building elements in there because you're, you're inventing creatures. I just, I love, there's something about it when artists include little sketches like this that I really enjoy. Um, when I'm working, I often work in, in smaller formats and so it's really fun to see Stuff that you wouldn't normally see before you see the finished painting. This book is about 313 pages long and it's qu quite nice. I cannot wait to dig into these books more because there is so much content here that I am very, very excited to read. I wanna give a huge shout out to 3D Total for sending these books to me for free. They let me pick out from their website a 
couple of books that I've been wanting to get for a very long time in exchange for me reviewing them. And I think that is so very cool. I actually buy a lot of books from 3D Total. They do some amazing Kickstarters. If you're interested in art books and want to support some of the artists and a really cool publisher, I recommend checking them out. It's been great being able to, to play and, and see what kind of cool art is in these books. And I can't wait to, as I said, discover more of them. And before we go, I want to thank my patrons so very much for making these videos possible. Without them and their support, I would not be able to make YouTube videos. I will leave a link in the description to these books if you're interested in picking up one or exploring the other options that they have available because there's quite a few that I have and enjoy. There's also a link to my Patreon if you're interested in finding out more about my own illustrated novel that is going to be coming out very soon. Thank you so very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye! I think I need a new bookshelf. Yeah, this one is overflowing. Where? Okay, one of these days I'll own a library and it will be filled with art books. Because I want one. That's what I've dreamed of forever. <laughs> Should I allocate patron funds to buying a new bookshelf? <laughs>